know what you're up to all the time. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Yeah, but you got the blood in you. I tell you, I, I, I used to read a lot of the Viking sagas, and it was amazing. These men would go and fight, and jump, but when they came back, they were terrified of their women. The women were the bosses. That I've feeling. I've heard was, that too. Yeah, I've heard that yeah. lately, that the women were actually really hardcore back yeah. then. Yeah, and in Iceland, yeah. in Iceland, the women are bigger personalities than the guys. Still. I've never been actually. Oh. By the way, I'm your neighbor. What do you mean? I think I looked out to your garden. Which one? Because I, like, yeah, yeah. I wait. It, oh, oh, and um, where oh, am I? Oh, okay. Yes. Ah. So I know what you're up to all the time. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> you have some good parties, though. I have to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one day. Uh, <laughs> well, you're invited. Come to the next. I one. would love to. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'll just come to the to the port on the other side then. No, I can look down. Come from round. There. Come. We have games nights. And oh, that would be lovely. Games nights are so much fun. Yeah, you're more than welcome. Okay, great. I'll take you up on that. Okay. So, how do you like being like beaten up and stuff? Do you still enjoy that part of, of making movies, or are you kind of thinking that? Um, no, I st I still and I love making action movies. I love the fun. I love the adrenaline, and I love trying to find something fresh. You know, but for sure, when I get to the start of a movie, I'm like, oh. God, here we go. You know what's going to happen <laughs> this time? Is it the groin, or is it the elbow, or is it the back? Um, because you always come out of them a bit beaten up. They're like, to, to me, sometimes filming if it's an action movie, an intense one, every day feels like a marathon. And and the problem is, it's five, six days a week, and you got to get up every morning, five a.m., and you're back. And um, so they can be tough, but they're also very enjoyable, you know, and and worth it in the end. So. You have a big birthday this year. Mm -hmm. Does that big birthday? Does that make you nostalgic in any way? How do you, how do you feel about it? No, I'm not. I'm not deep enough to think about it like that. I just, <laughs> um, I'm not really thinking about it that much. And and I don't know if I'm in denial or I'm just not. I'm just living my life. But it's the reason. It's funny doing these interviews. A lot of people are bringing it up, so I'm starting to go. Yeah. Oh yeah, I have a big birthday this year. And, uh, and other than that, friends going, what are you going to do for your... Because I hate organizing parties. I hate... And everybody's like, got to do something amazing. Let's go to the other side of the world. And I'm just thinking, if I do that, two people will turn up. You know, That's like, true. So maybe I'll just do a dinner for four friends or something. Under the olive trees. Under the olive trees, yeah. <laughs> That's a great place for dinners. Oh, yes. Yep. Um, I read somewhere that you say that going back to Scotland kind of keeps you grounded. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Do you have a family there that you visit and... It's yeah, a small just, town, right? It's a tiny little village. I j was just there four days ago. I, I finished oh. in Atlanta, and then I flew back just for I, I, three and a half days I had in, in Scotland. And, and But I love getting back. I love seeing my family. I'm a real mummy's boy, you know? And, and, and I also love, I love nature. Nature grounds me, but Scotland has some of the most beautiful nature that there is. And my family or my parents live at the edge of this village, which is in Perthshire, which is one of the most beautiful parts of the world. So the second I get back there, I'm like, and I get on my bicycle and I bike round and I hike and and I go, life is good. Do people recognize you there? I mean, they oh, must, yeah, of yeah, I mean, Are they like, nice to you? Do you get free yes, coffees? Yes, yeah, they're always nice. You know, how's your mum? You know, and I'm like, <laughs> what do you mean, how's mum? How am I? You see my mum all the time. You don't see me all the time. But you know, it's a funny thing. I went out on my, on my bicycle and, went through the village and there was all these people lined up along the road and um and it's not a busy village you know so i'm like cycling and of course they recognize me and i'm like but i don't think they're here for me and i said what's going on and they said there's a woman's biking race coming through the village so it's all over scotland but they're about to come through the village i cycle out of the village and then i get a text from a friend who's from kenya like she lives in Montreal, but she's from Kenya. And she said, I'm in your village in Scotland with my mum, having coffee. Um, come and join me. I have to turn now and cycle back in the way the women's cycling team is coming in. And now everybody's facing up. And it looks like they're just cycling that way. It looks like Jerry Butler is loving the attention. Cycle back in. So I just went with it. And I'm like, I won the women's race. And they're all lined across. You're like, hey, Jerry, hello. What are you doing? And the women cycling it. But anyway, oh, yeah. That's cute. I saw that you cute messaged your mom as well. It was very sweet on Instagram. When oh, you yeah. get all the cast members to 
Oh yeah, yeah. I always do messages for my for my mum in the, the the most dramatic ways that I that I can. Does she brag about you too, everybody? Just big time, <laughs> big time. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Hi there, thanks for watching my channel. If you like that video, maybe there's other videos you like here on my channel. So please subscribe, share, comment, do whatever you like. Be happy, be nice to people. And I hope I see you again soon. Bye.